In this presentation, you will see how a new module called IBM Cognos Insight is a great complement to IBM SPSS statistics to help turn insight into action. Cognos Insight is an evolution of desktop analytics for the business users to explore and interact with information. It provides compelling and interactive data visualizations to help decision makers take the right actions. In this demonstration, we will examine direct marketing campaign information for a fictitious retail organization. A business user will use Cognos Insight to build an interactive summary report of the campaign outcome, highlight some areas of focus, and share the findings with others to help plan and strategize future marketing campaigns. Meanwhile, an analyst can take the data and build a predictive model using SPSS statistics to profile those that responded to the campaign and use that to better target their potential buyers. Keep in mind that in both scenarios, all of the analytics can be accomplished right from the user's desktops. This is an example report created in Cognos Insight, and it's something that can be created easily by the business user. Different summary visualizations or widgets can be created to help explore and dissect different cross sections of your data. Further, you can organize your report summaries into different tabs, also accessible via thumbnail views, and customize the overall look and feel of each project. Here in the overview tab, you can see some demographic factors that influence the campaign. Things like job category, income, marital status, household occupancy, and geography. Each of these is displayed in their own widget. You can see comparisons of responders versus non-responders with alert indicators, and choose from the drop-down boxes at the top and filter your data by any number of attributes. For example, filtering on the higher income group shows positive indicators for responders while the lower income group shows negatives, as you might expect. We'll switch to the marital status summary, which looks interesting. You can see that the married category shows a positive indicator when compared to the unmarried. On the right, we're looking at household occupancy. You can see that it's only when you get above two people in the household is where you start seeing some positives. Now the business person can look at this and reason that the offering might need to be adjusted to try to attract more of the single person households since there are a good number of them represented in this data set. If the visualization does not tell the story, you can easily change it to make it more compelling. From the list of chart types, simply change it to the one you like. Using a bar chart here makes it easier to see that for the responders, a higher number of them belong in the married status category. Let's take a look at how that report was created by starting fresh in Cognos Insight. We'll start by importing data. You can import data directly into Cognos Insight by dragging and dropping Excel spreadsheets directly onto the canvas here. You can also import data by connecting to other data sources, such as a database or an SPSS statistics file by using an ODBC connection. Connecting to a statistics.sav file will import all of the inherent dictionary information like the variable and value labels. In the preview, you can see that each row of data here represents a single customer. And for each customer, you can see some demographic characteristics such as gender, age, and geographic region, along with whether or not the customer responded to the direct marketing campaign. There are additional advanced data mapping settings during the import to help you define the correct data types within your data. Categorical fields are referred as dimensions, and continuous fields are called measures. A measure in this context is usually a performance indicator that is quantifiable and used to determine how well a business is operating, such as quantity sold or revenue. Now, this data set contains all dimensions. Once the data gets imported, a relational data cube is generated in memory, which allows for very fast data processing. 
An opening view of the information gets displayed by default, and it's showing us a frequency count of the geographic regions. Let's create a crosstab by dragging the response variable over to the columns to see a comparison of responders versus non-responders. This shows that overall, this campaign is about 25% effective, which is quite good, and what it looks like broken down by region. Instead of looking at counts, you can also create percentages. You first duplicate the columns, and we'll rename them, and simply change the total to 100 to see the updated proportions for all the regions. To compare two columns head to head, select the columns and add a new calculation to compare the yeses to the noes. We'll rename the column to compare. and sort it. Now we can see that there are a higher percentage of responders in the south and central regions. To filter the information, you use the interactive drop-downs at the top or create a filter box using an existing data dimension. From here, any number of selections can be made to filter what gets displayed on screen. You can add some text. Change formatting and color if you like. We'll name this tab Geography. And move on to another tab for additional reporting. Now for the finishing touch, apply one of the existing themes to make your report shine, or one that you have created and saved. You have just seen how, with Cognos Insight, you can easily import data, create interactive summary reports, highlight your findings, and share those findings with others. Let's now turn to IBM SPSS Statistics. IBM SPSS Statistics offers many advanced statistical procedures you need to explore and discover meaningful relationships within your data. And a classification model can be used to profile the responders versus the non-responders. We start by looking at the same response data from the previous marketing campaign. The analyst for the marketing department can leverage historical data to help the retail organization drive a more profitable marketing campaign in the future by identifying and targeting the customer profiles most likely to respond to an offer. One of the statistical models available within the statistics environment is decision trees. IBM SPSS decision trees provide specialized tree building techniques for classification, helping you find specific subgroups and relationships that you might not uncover using more traditional statistics. The goal is to create a model that predicts the value of a target variable based on several input variables. In this example, the response variable is the target, and more specifically, the responder category. All of the other customer-related information are the possible predictors. IBM SPSS decision trees includes four established tree-growing algorithms. 
This gives you the ability to try different types of tree growing algorithms and find the one that best fits your data. Let's go with the classification regression trees to give us a binary tree which partitions data and produces accurate homogeneous subsets. The option on the right gives you further control over the types of information to display in the output window. Under the validation settings, you can hold out a percentage of random samples for testing. Let's go with a 50-50 split. Finally, we'll limit the maximum tree depth to 3. The results are now displayed in the output window. Let's take a deeper look at the tree diagram. The top node of the tree is the target variable, and you can see the overall percentage of responders versus non-responders in the data set. The best predictor is income and the majority of the responders are at the income level of greater than 50,000. Within this income group, those that are married are more likely to respond, and so on. The classification table tells us that the generator model is 88% accurate in predicting the right outcome. Lastly, the table and the chart summarize the variable importance relative to the target variable. The retail organization can deploy this model to cut direct marketing costs by targeting only the customer profiles with high likelihood to respond to a similar offer in a future campaign. You have just seen how data from a direct marketing campaign was used in Cognos Insight by the business user for business intelligence and the same data used in SPSS statistics by the analysts to build responder profiles using predictive modeling. Cognos Insight and SPSS statistics bring the predictive intelligence you need right to your desktop. Thank you for watching.